do you already own Bandlab Lab H2 D or H2S? Or maybe looking to buy one as well, but you don't own the laser module. You don't want to buy the laser full combo, but you still want the cutting and plotting capabilities of Bamboo Lab. Yeah, me too. Until I was confused by Bamboo Lab. Uh, in the description in their website for the H2 cutting upgrade kit, it says that when paired with the H2D, the bird's eye camera requires the laser module for calibrations, which made some people get confused. Do they need a bird's eye camera or not? Short answer, no, you do, you do not need. So the bird's eye camera is not needed for all this function. You only need it if you want to use a scrap, say if you, want, if you have a scrap piece of vinyl and you're not sure of dimension and size, you can just lay it down everywhere Use a bird's eye camera up here. Well, if you have it installed, to take a picture of the whole plate, it's gonna correct the distortion automatically, and then you can overlay your designs on top of those scrap pieces so that you can cut it out. But I do not have the bird's eye camera because it. I think it needs the laser module for it to calibrate at the moment. But Bamboo said on the website that the end update will come out pretty soon for the bird's eye camera not to not need the laser model to calibrate. So you can just buy the camera and calibrate itself. But right now, as of the moment, September 28th, 2025, if you buy a bird's eye camera for it to capture the plate, you'll need a laser module to calibrate it, which is a bummer. But an update is coming out soon, so We'll keep an eye out. Just a quick disclaimer, because I forgot to say it in the start of the video. This video is not sponsored in any way. I purchased everything by my own money. You can support my channel by just liking, sharing, commenting, help, subscribing, please. I'm not begging, but if you like my content, just subscribe. So today, I'm gonna talk to you to you about what comes in the kit, how to set it up, and the quirks of the cutting system by Bamboo Lab. All right, when you purchase a, a H2 series cutting upgrade kit, what's going to come in the box will be the mat, the cutting platform, which includes the light grip side and the strong grip side, which you can replace the mat once they, the adhesive wore down, which it's gonna be really hard to do because if you notice the uh, adhesive quality getting lower and lower, you can usually wash it with a dish soap and it will come back right up. And these films, they are there to protect the mat from the dust and everything from degrading the adhesive. So do not throw it away keep it please otherwise you'd be out of luck because nobody's gonna sell but you can probably like make a replacement for yourself with the scissors and thin film so that's not a big of a deal but just don't throw it away so you don't have to go through those hassle uh so i already got everything packed in my gridfinity drawer and in a box you'll get the cutting head or the cutting module head and you'll get the blade holder already installed you get a total of three blades one already installed and two spares in the kit uh, it originally comes with a clear plastic uh, protector which I feel like it's too flimsy so I just gone ahead and print a better one for um, ocular dynamic I'll link that in the description so yeah, you can find the, the blade cover. So that's one. You'll get the, as I mentioned, you'll get the weeding tool head. It's just gonna come in the metal like this, this metal, but you'll have to print the handle for it. But worry not, it already, it also comes with, well, mine comes with six screws for the handle for the weeder. 
I don't know why I came with six, because I can only use three of it, because this only used three of it. Anyway, you also get your pen holder, which this cap kind of doubles as, well, it doesn't double as anything. It's only one functionality, which is the height setter. From what I've seen, it's not that great of a design, but this is an overview video, not a review. So take that as what you will. And then you'll get the spare blades. Two spare blades, but I have three this one, but I'll discuss it a little bit later. And what you can print from bamboo, well, officially from bamboo is the handle for the weeding tool, as well as the blade uh, tool for your cutting module. So that's pretty much it. So one thing that I'll note uh, is that I upgraded from P1S and whenever the P1S uh, finish printing, it will, it will always hold the, the home in position. Like you, can move, you cannot move it with your hand for a bit longer. It would usually be around like 10 minutes until I can move the head freely by my hand because usually it would be locked by the servo motor. They, it just doesn't want to lose the homing position. But the from what I noticed with the H2S is that after it's done printing, it doesn't really hold the homing position or in the other words, it doesn't really lock itself up for that long just because so that you can say like if you're done with printing and you want to cut next, you can just from the get-go. You can also do this through the front door, but I find it easier to do it from the top door, uh, from top with the top glass panel removed. So what you'll do is squeeze the bottom, take it out, take the wheel out. You open the flaps right over here. Yeah, I'll show you. Yep. So there's a flap over here that you can take it off. No, not really take it off, but just open it up. I'll just put this in real quick. This one has like a locator, same locator as like the print plate. So you can just push it straight in, hope for the best and slide it down. So, so you got your print head. And then you can plug it in. I marked in a way that so it usually would be like this shape like this so i put a stickers there just so that i know that it needs to face the front so it connects perfectly so usually you would just slide this on lock it you can also adjust it uh, with an allen key on the side if it's not locking in or is it too loose so all right once it in one is it everything is in everything is locked connect it take the blade cover off be careful not to cut yourself and then you have to tell the machine to calibrate it will prompt you to calibrate the whole sequence itself <laughs> Okay, here's one of the few quirks that I think is a bit weird with the uh, cutting module. So, uh, once you mount this and gone through the calibrations, it's gonna hold position until you take it off. So you do not need to rehome every time you do a cut center cutting job. This area it says blade. Uh, let's let's focus on there, please. Yep. That says blade. So if you're loading up a print, print and cut job, 
you'll get something that looks like uh, let me put, move the two head back a little bit so I don't cut myself so if you're doing the print and cut this one is already done you can probably guess some of the stuff that is on here uh, print then cut you have to use the second row well the printer will give you a prompt anyway you have to use a second row like that you have to leave one row empty for print and cut and print and cut will include these uh, markers for the two head camera to aim at and see where it's at so that's the print and cut but if you're do being doing basic cuts basic cuts you can pretty much put it against the top line use a roller that you can print from bamboo I personally print the one that someone included a profile where it pretty much widened the whole uh, roller and I'll explain why this area is a bit a little bit dust this one is for basic cuts you can prop it up to that point but for regular print and cut you have to move it down one block that's that's how it is and when you're doing calibrations if you put it up top you have to cut it up top as well so put it all the way to the top when you're doing like the cut calibrations the force calibration last thing that i want to mention is that to change the blade on the cutting module just need to having a tool is the best thing so go print it you can push it and just weed it out so this one is a cricket blade as you can see it's gold so it's the german carbide blades this one is standard blade and i'll show you i did not modify anything for this to fit if it wants to come off from the sticky bed please so this this would be a stock blade, it will just slide right in. See? That's the stock blade and once you want to if you want to clean it or once it get dull, gets dull, which would be really hard cuz I do think these are made from carbide somehow. Yeah, that's one way to break it. God damn it. Yeah, but yeah, you can pretty much Pick it up like this, take the cover off with the tool, hold it in, and try to slide it in slowly. You can push it in and it's going to snap into place. So 